Back out at the lake today. Uh, had to do some business for the Texas Association of Metal Detecting Clubs down here in Central Texas, and uh, got a friend of mine that I'm gonna spend the night with, and hang out and hunt the day, and uh, spend the night with my friend. Then I'm gonna meet up with uh, another buddy of mine that's uh, a metal detectorist, and he's gonna take me out to another lake, and we're gonna hit that one tomorrow all day, and uh, see what we can come up with. So let's uh, get in the water. See when we get. And uh, I'm about waist deep water right here and kneeling down on my knee I'm hunting with my AT Pro and uh, I just got a 4344 signal I've already reached down and felt what it was but I want to go down there and get it for you and see if I can find it again and uh, uh oh let me get my pinpointer out I've never forgot where I put it There it is. There it is. It's uh, some type of a ring with a cross on both ends. There's still something down in the hole. It's got a, it's got some writing on it. I can't make out what it says though. But anyway, I've been out here about 15 minutes. That's my first ring, so we'll keep on going. If there's something else in the hole that uh, is worth showing to you, I'll, I'll cut the camera back on. Well, let's keep going. That's ring number one. All right, I'm back out here in about shallow, about waist deep water again. And I got a 42. And uh, see if I can find it. I just reached down and felt it. And here we go. Ah, another Christian ring. It's going to have a cross. And I don't know, it's a stainless steel ring. Right, it's got writing on it. I would assume it's the Lord's Prayer. And so that's ring number two. All right, we'll keep on going. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Saturday morning, about 7.30 in the morning. I'm headed out to another lake. I went out to a lake yesterday, got a couple of rings, and headed out to meet up with a buddy at a lake. And uh, we're gonna, first time ever hunting with this guy. He's a real nice guy. He's one of the followers on my YouTube, but I met him before I even did YouTube. He's a uh, part of our Texas Association of Metal Detecting Clubs. He's the president of a local club down here, Metal Detecting Club. So I added some business down here in this town and uh, called him up and said, hey, let's get together and we're gonna go out to this lake and we're gonna hit it together and maybe a couple of more spots and see what we can find. Hopefully it's gonna be a fruitful day for both of us. We're gonna find lots of good nectar out there in the lake. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna hunt tomorrow as well and uh, may take off and head up to Arkansas and hunt one lake up there that I always like to hunt just a day after Labor Day. And uh, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up my water season. Hasn't been the greatest season as it has in the past, but it's been a good season nonetheless. But it's been good to get out and try to find some good rings. And I found some pretty good stuff. But I'm kind of getting waterlogged and ready to switch over to relic season. And so I'm going to hang it up after this weekend, after Labor Day, and clean all my equipment and get all my other equipment set up for my upcoming trip in October to Latvia. And get switched over to... Uh, some relic hunting and just take a break between now and then but anyway uh, I'm headed out to the lake right now and uh, meet up with Matt and as soon as we get out there if I find something I'll turn the camera on and uh, we'll show it to you so I'll see you in the water that's what I'm on I'm uh, out here at the lake. We're going to be hunting out here on this shoreline right here. Got my good friend here, Matt. Say hello, Matt. Hello. First time ever hunting with him. But he's a local out here. He's showing me around. So hopefully we get on some good rings. So let's get in the water. Well, we've been out here for about 45 minutes. Matt's calling me over. Says he's got something in the scoop. So let's go uh, see what he's got. All right. Oh, yeah. We do have one, don't we? 
That's going to be a copper ring, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Hey, that's something, though. Ring's a ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's got something up. Peace. It says peace on it. Well, that's number one. Matt one, Preacher Digger zero. So we'll see what we can come up with the rest of the day. Let's keep at it. Sixty three. Got a little seahorse necklace. I don't think it's in anything precious, but hey, it's my first find. I've been in the water about five minutes. We moved on to another lake now. One where I was at yesterday where I found those two rings. But we come back to a different location on the lake. So maybe I'll get some more. Let's keep going. Pouring down rain. We're wet anyway. As long as it's not lightning, we're okay. Matt says he's got another one. It's a junker, he says. I don't want to see it. Where's it at? Oh, okay. That's something. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll take something more than nothing because we've been getting nothing out here today. What is that? Wings and a crown and I think some little piece of jewelry. All right, well, that's two pieces of jewelry and a ring, and I got two rings out here yesterday, so let's see what we can keep going and come up with. All right, there you go, man. Congratulations, you're whooping the preacher digger today. Uh, the how does it feel to pre How does it feel to be be beating the preacher digger? <laughs> Feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the day's not over yet. Let's keep the day's going. Not over. I got a 46 to a 48. Either I, I told Matt it's either going to be a woman's gold ring or it's going to be a stainless steel ring. And so I'm tied up with him now. We both got a necklace, both got a ring. It is on for the next hour or so. I, ring says live for him. I'm assuming that means the Lord. That's a good preacher digger ring. All right, let's keep on going. That's ring number three out here. We're working up the shallows over here. This is where I got the two rings yesterday. And I got a 43. And I've been digging these 40 signals because it's been like uh, these stainless steel rings. And I uh, I just had it. There it is right here. I reached down there and got it. And there it is again. Another stainless steel ring. That makes two for me today. <laughs> they pulled ahead of you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Two rings. He's on, he's on the he's on the hunt now. All right, let's keep going. Working well, I made it shot. back home. This is actually the next day. I'm just got through setting up everything out here on the tailgate. Um, today is uh, Labor Day, and so I'm doing no labor. I'm not even going out to the parks today or anything. I'm gonna take today off and take it easy. But I don't know. You know how I am. I may get the urge and go out there later on this evening. Who knows? And make another video for next week. But uh, I am going to go out tomorrow, I think, and uh, I'm going to go up about two hours north of here in Hunter State Park that I can get permission on. But uh, this, this hunt was not a big hunt. I got to hunt with a buddy of mine, which is really good, though. But I found a few things, and so let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's all my trash. Here's all my aluminum. I've been digging everything here lately. Bobby pins way down there in the 20s uh, on AT Pro. I've been uh, fishing lead. Pull tabs, bottle caps, uh, bottle caps and uh, whatever those things are. A dog chain, battery, tent stakes, a little bit of everything. You can tell it's kind of scarce out there in the lakes. And so I'm digging every signal and hope I might get a good surprise. But this is my good stuff. This is what I got. I ended up getting four quarters, five dimes, one nickel, five pennies. Now, I didn't find this, but my son was out with me, and we were walking up to the lake, and he uh, he eyeballed this on the ground. And this is a real nice uh, box cutter. I like that. I'm going to put it on my, uh, actually going to put it on my pouch there and keep it there. I got a couple of junk earrings. I got a pair of binocular earrings. Uh, did yesterday when I took the family out after church to the lake. I got this one signal. It was just too busy. I couldn't even swing my detector, so I didn't even try to detect out in the lake. It was just too busy yesterday. 
But apparently this must be a charm bracelet. I looked around for the chain, couldn't find it. But it's got Jesus, some type of hand, some type of elephant. I don't know if it's a world religion bracelet. I don't know. I uh, got this little seahorse uh, chain. And that was ringing up in the 30s, I believe. But I did get a few rings here. I did get uh, a uh, kind of a rainbow multicolored uh, stainless steel ring. They're all stainless steel this time. I did get a Christian. I did get a Christian uh, a ring here. I don't know what that says. Maybe y'all can interpret that in Spanish for me. I'm assuming it may be the Lord's Prayer. I'm not sure. But I found that one. Then I found this ring. This is another stainless steel ring. And I believe it's been altered, is what I believe it's been. It's actually a brand uh, called Spike Stainless Steel Rings. You can look it up online, but you can tell how it's been, uh, it's been cut. It's weird how it's been cut. It had two crosses in it. The ring went like this, and they cut the bottom of the cross off and designed it that way. Well, I guess my best ring, being a preacher digger, is this ring. It's another stainless steel ring. It just says, live for him. And I have to agree with that. Some of you that might watch this may not agree with that. But let me tell you, one of these days, give me a call. I share my testimony where God took me and where I am today. And you'll understand why I'm called the preacher digger. But anyway, that's my treasures. Here's all the trash. And like I said, the greatest treasures is not what's sitting on the tailgate. The tre greatest treasure is what's sitting up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say God bless and happy hunting.